it's just my hands. Look at this. I've been asked to show some of my artwork, so I'm going to show some of my pencil drawings that I've done over the last couple of years. So I, in 2015, I started to do these caricature paintings, little five by five rounds. And this is one of the drawings for one of the paintings, Winnie from Hocus Pocus. And I don't really sketch. I mean, if I do, here's another one. I did the whole, all three of them as paintings. And I also did Lydia. This is a little drawing of Marie Antoinette that I did. And then, what's her face? Oh, look, the chickens are out. Why am I, why is her name escaping me right now? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't really sketch. I just decide I want to draw something and I draw it. I don't doodle. I just don't doodle. I just can't doodle. I just can't, like I try to doodle for fun and it turns out to look like a three-year-old drew it. So I just see what I see in my head and I wanna draw it. Beetlejuice, this is another painting I did. Then I just started to do these little drawings. I've always, I've always drawn things on top of girls' heads. I mean, I've been doing it since the beginning of the 2000s. This is Cat Bat. And this is actually a, a model friend, a girl that was is so cute. And so I asked if she would be my model. And I just took a bunch of pictures of her so I could use. Here we have a little mouse sitting in a teacup. You see his fat belly with a little crown. And I really like this one because this guy's face is funny. He's got his hand over his eyes like he's looking. And he's giving her a big hug. And as he's saying, hey, look at me. The X on her cheek is a shout out to Adam Ant. Here's a simpler one with a little bunny on her head. This one's a coloring page too. This bracelet, I have really tiny wrists. This is one of my bracelets from my cameos. I don't have any of these for sale. I should sell this one because it's too big. Look at how big it is on me. And it keeps flying around. It keeps twisting. Now this is a possum with a cupcake on his head. She doesn't seem to mind. And this is Crazy Cat Lady. I did a painting. I turned this one into a painting. I actually have this the painting right next to me. And here is the painting. I don't know if it's gonna fit all in the frame the way I have it set up right now. I showed this on one of my other. So you can see the difference. Painting, drawing, painting, drawing. This one's one of my favorite ones because they're making the same face. <laughs> and I love 
drawing braids. I love drawing braids and elaborate hair. I really do. It's so much fun. <clears throat> this one, super fun. I use a pencil and then I also use, let me get one. I use the blending sticks and just I should draw some more in pencil. I really enjoy it. Sometimes I enjoy it more than painting. This was last year, 2017, I joined the Halloween, the 30 days of Halloween or 31 days of Halloween drawing. You know, you get a theme for every day. And this was, I don't remember which one this was, but this was based off of a costume that I did a couple years ago for Halloween. So it's kind of me, but in a cartoony way. Oops. And this is Ostrich Girl. I love drawing birds. I love drawing animals. Oh, and pop to Disney. I did these at the end of the year last year. I did these Disney drawings, Disney, Disney related drawings. And this is Cruella. Cruella and this is not Disney, but obviously, but we know what it's like to own kittens. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Just scratch my face up because, you know, I still love you. And this is another Disney. I've done, this is my second, I guess I only did two versions of Tightrope Girl. But this is a tightrope tight rope girl with a crocodile on her head. This was fun hair. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I love drawing spiral curls. I turned this into a digital piece. I colored it on the computer and turned it into a postcard. And this one, I love this one. I did, oh, I did this one digitally too, but it's not on a postcard yet. I'll have it printed into a postcard. We have like Zorax, a bunch of Zorax. Remember Zorak from Space Ghost? This was fun hair. Ooh. My version of Maleficent by turning her hair into horns. And yeah, this she kind of looks like Vampira. I'm actually going to be in a Vampira art show, so I'm going to be drawing Vampira. This one, it, this is the one I almost got as a tattoo because I love chickens. I love chickens. I love roosters. I might have this one on the back of my other calf, if there's room. I love roosters. Ah, ah, ah. And I love side braids. I got my side braid going today. This is the one that I have on the back of my leg. And you see, sometimes I start drawing them and they're off the paper. So she ended up without the tips of her hair. This one's a painting too. This one I turned into a painting. And this is the one that I've shown that I've turned into. This is a painting and this is the cameo. And the larger cameo. And actually have some candy bars 
in Creepsville and they were in Sweet at Hollywood. The store Sweet candy shop. This is the Haunted Mansion Bride one. And this is the painting of the bride. This kitty cat is being crazy, but he has having fun. I kind of changed, like, there was, a t there was a while before I went out and bought these that I just erased. So you can see here where I just erased, instead of using this to blend, I just used an eraser to get the white parts out. But then I went to the store and bought some of those. <laughs> Sometimes I just use what I have. And this was for that Halloween or the October challenge. We had to draw. What did we have to draw? I forgot what we had to draw, but I did Lily Munster in her curlers. And oh yeah, this was for that too. We had to draw a bat. And we had to draw a vampire. I think all of these I will be. I gotta ink these up for coloring pages. This was a moth girl. This was for. I forgot what this one was for. The theme. Ghosts coming out of her. I started way too far over on the page. You see all the erasing and stuff. But what I did was I put her in Photoshop and then I fixed her up. Just added, I changed the skull a little bit too. Just so I can have a cleaner version. And the Evil Queen, I really want to turn this into a painting because the Evil Queen is my favorite. Either that or a digital drawing. And Ursula. But this one is probably my favorite that I've done so far of the Disney because since the redhead is leaving or I think she's left by now I like this version with her little guns and the doggy this one would be fun to paint and this is my friend Fallon with because she's into dinos so I put a little dino on his head, on her head. This one I did a lot of erasing. You can see all the erasing. See, this one's more like you could, like some of these, I did the drawing first and then cleaned it up and finished the drawing, you know, so it, they look nicer. See this one, this one has a lot of erasing. And this, oh, this is for a witch for that day. So this is Endora from Bewitched. This is my hand. I took a picture of my hand so I could use it. Witch's honor. And this is a self-portrait. Caricature because you can see the eyes are bigger. See, that's what I do. I make the eyes bigger than everything else So it has a caricature And this is Lily Bell my dog She's crazy But her and I we're like clowns I'm a clown With crazy hair My hair would look cool like that if I could really do my hair like that 
And this is the haunt. This is what the haunted mansion painting looks like as a drawing. So now I'll show you some of the coloring pages that I've done so far. This is the squirrel one. I scan them into the computer and I designed all the scrolling, the, the borders, whatever else I stick in there. I like this one because I like the chicken feet. But these all are downloadable. $3 each and you can download them any as much as you want. You can reprint them and recolor them and recolor them and recolor them. Look at the bunny feet. The possum. It's got some extra cupcakes. This, this right here, I like this. I should, this would be a good tattoo. The cupcake in a teacup with the two spoons. There's a panda one with some bamboo over here. This one, I like this one a lot. The mermaid one. And the lamb. Lammy. The dino. Now this, the crow drawing, I really elaborated it. Once I got it, scanned it into the computer I added all these feathers to even it out more for a coloring page. And here's the crazy cat lady. More crazy cats. And this is an extra one that I made of a bunch of the cats that are all over. See, I took this cat and I put it on here and the same with all the other ones that I've drawn. And I like this too. I think this would be a cute tattoo. The cat with the fish bones. Back in 2003 or something I had I had a line of plush cats that I had made called the fish bones. And I was hoping to have them made as in a production, you know, like a lot of them, but it didn't happen. A lot of things don't happen, but that's okay. You just move on to something else. At this one, like her lips were so fun to draw. Mm, the attitude on this one. Mm, I'm yawning for a second. And this one was fun with the bees. And a bat one. Did I? I don't know if I did this one as a postcard or not. This design here is actually on my tattoo that I designed. It's hard to see. It's a lace bat that I designed about three years ago. But it has this and it's hard to tell on mine because my skin has just absorbed it. It looks better, like I have a couple friends that have this tattoo and the lace looks so much better on them. But that's what this middle part is, so I just stuck that in there. I have that lace bat on pillows and everything. And, and then I have this, oh yeah, then I, I put a cupcake on top of this guy because the original drawing doesn't have that. And I made the cupcakes. So there you go. There's a bunch of my artwork. There's a bunch of my drawings. Wait, what's this one? Oh, forgot this one. This is, this is the one, 
this is what the postcard looks like. It actually has the trim like this, but I colored it digitally. And yeah. So I decided now, I guess it'll be fun to color one of my coloring pages for you. Let's just see how it works. Let's just see how it works out. I'm trying to figure out what colors to do her because I have, I have these, I have markers and I have, oh God, I'm super tired today. And I'm not sure really. Well, I hope I have my glasses on. Okay, I have my glasses on, so that helps. One end's thick and one end's thin. Ooh. So. Ooh. I haven't used these on, on the printable pages. I'm just going to do something simple. Let's see. What color do I want to bump? I'm gonna put any makeup on her or not. We'll see. Let's see. Hmm, just super light, super, super light eyes. Why are these, it doesn't look blue, that looks like it's gray. How can you tell what size the, That's too dark. Oh, here's the color I was looking for. Oh, great. Now that's too dark. Well, we'll put the dark up at the top here. Oops, I colored up the white part. Well, see, that's why it's good to have the downloadable pages. Because if you screw up, then you can do it again. I am not happy with that. I am not happy. I had a little white, one of those white dot. Is this it? Yep. That's some crazy, crazy stuff. Oh, here it is. A white Sharpie. Let's hope it still shows up. Hmm, not really. Crabola. Crab. You know what I'll do? Um, I know what I'll do at the end. Hmm. 
let's see. Let's put some, let's make her hair green. That looks too dark. Do this color. What? Okay. She is not in the army. Looks like she's in the army. Trying to get lazy. is why the downloadable is good because if you screw up if you don't like it you can do it again and again and again
they're way lighter than I thought they were. Or darker, I mean. Whoa! That is not what I wanted to happen. Just this very minute. I guess this is what's happening. Oh, I forgot about this big old chunk over here. Now I forgot what brain I used. Oh well. There it is. this color. Yeah, that makes sense. This is kind of cool. Her hair looks like seaweed now. It's a heck of a lot darker than I wanted. Now that means it's Mr. Octopus. That's going to be super dark. Watch, this is going to be super dark. All the pearls are getting screwed up because I'm getting impatient. Blah, 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 blah. This is me getting impatient. to paint. What am I craving? There's a 
good coloring thing for adults, I guess. You're welcome for putting all these crazy things in. <sighs> Mm-hmm. What is this color? Oh, it's a big gray. Hmm, let's give him yellow suckers. Where's the yellow? No, it's not yellow. That's not yellow. That's not what I wanted to do. I should have made him pink. Now I'm getting super light as well. Oh, yeah, I should have made him pink. Because this is like the color of the starfish. And the starfish will be pink, I guess.
I got a little carried away and I forgot what I was doing. Oops. Police is gonna 